Excited for color codes? Thought so. Color codes are sequences of colors that Ozobot Evo understands as commands. So you can control its speed, movements, and direction. Ozobot's color code language consists of 29 color codes made with combinations of red, green, black, and blue. Evo can follow any line no matter the color, but your color codes must be on black lines. Evo receives information about color as it follows a line using its color sensor. Each square in your color code should be about the same width as the line, 4 to 7 millimeters or 1 fourth inch. Color code placement is also important. They should be at least two and a half centimeters or one inch from any other color codes and any intersections. Evo can only read one color code at a time and needs enough room to execute your command before reading another code. To be sure your Evo can read your color codes, here's a quick list of what not to do. Don't draw color codes on colored lines. They should only be drawn between black lines. Try not to leave any white space between the colors of your code or overlap them too much. Colors should be just touching. Evo won't be able to read color code squares that are too dark, so try to draw them in a single stroke. Code shouldn't be any wider than the line that they're on. In other words, you should aim to make uniform squares of color that are no more than 5 millimeters by 5 millimeters or 1 fourth inch by 1 fourth inch each. Practice drawing code squares with 1 fourth inch graph paper if you're having trouble. Color codes should not be drawn on corners, curves, or within intersections. If you make a mistake and need to debug your color codes, don't fear. You can debug by covering your old color code with an Ozobot color code sticker, or you can use a plain white sticker, like an envelope mailing label. With blank Ozobot color code stickers or mailing labels, you can fill in whichever code you need. Debugging is identifying errors in your code and fixing them. 